The food that you eat before you bless it is going to give you corona. Andrea and Lamar. Lamar has been in prison for about 20 years. He's gotten out. This is about three years now. Andrea is very Mormon. She has a very Mormon background, very strict with some of these things. She used to live in Utah with a little Mormon community, a nice group of women that they used to meet up with and whatever not, uh, whatever not. Anyway, and now, now they've moved to LA because Lamar is a recording artist, a rapper, something of that nature, child, I don't know. But anyway, there's more opportunities in LA. So that is where they are now. And she is very scared because LA has all these temptations and stuff like that. And that's why she wants her daughter to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah, uh, hmm. Anyway, the way she sees baptism is very interesting because she thinks that her daughter is gonna have less temptations when she's baptized. She thinks that she thinks, she thinks a whole lot of things. She thinks that her child is only going to receive the Holy Spirit by being baptized. So she thinks that all these eight years that her daughter has been walking this earth, she doesn't have the Holy Spirit upon her because she hasn't been baptized. I don't know, you guys, that's a whole nother topic, but that is not how it works. Not in a Christian belief anyway. But anywho, so they're out here and um, her son went to visit Lamar's um, brother um and he was trying to give him a blunt and he said no christian faith is not good keep yourself pure da, 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 da. and yeah so they're gonna break it to the mom that that's what happened and even though he did not smoke this mom is so like over the top she's gonna freak she's gonna freak everybody knows she's gonna freak so she's got two older kids that are by another dude and then the youngest kid is by this Lamar dude, and if you're make, doing the math and you're like, if you got out of prison three years ago and the child is eight years, how did that happen? It happened because in prison, you can go in a closet and do your business. So they had a closet baby or whatever they used to call this kid. But so yeah, that's how. So let's see what they are up to. So the, do the older daughter said that she was nine when she got baptized because she's putting all this pressure to do it when she's eight, 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 eight. But the oldest daughter was nine when she got baptized. And basically the kids are always around trying to get her to chill. Mama, just chill. Just chill. Because she's very like, ooh, she gets angry quickly. She freaks out quickly. It's really something. I need my baby to be covered with the blood. The blood of who? Christ. <laughs> this lady, like, she's, she's over the top. I'm telling you. I don't know what to say. <laughs> now, why did you have to do that? So then the son comes out and says, I tried weed. I tried for the first time. Why would he do that? Why would he say that? He knows how the mother is. And this, you know, there's some parents that you just don't joke with. You know, in African households, you would know. There's certain things you just don't do joke with. You just don't play with. Don't come out and be saying crazy stuff that you didn't do, that you didn't see, that you didn't hear, that you're never going to do. Just don't say it. Don't be joking like that because not everybody sees it as a joke. This was a bad joke to make. Do not play with me. I don't know what the f but you better stop playing with she me. Okay? Mom, can you please stop saying the effort? I'm sorry. Oh, did you hear the Let's run that back. So she, ever since we've been following this woman, they have been like really portraying her as this very, very Mormon woman, which she is. Stay pure, da, 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 da. okay, we get it. But this woman, especially when she's pressed and stressed, she will curse, 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 curse for the entire LA. And this daughter of hers, the youngest daughter is like, mom, can you please stop saying the F word? You have taught her not to say the F word. You have taught her to be pure you well not even that be pure you have told taught her certain things and yet this is what you're showing her 
And this is what I find so interesting about some of these parents. They're like, don't do this, don't do that. And they're the exact same person who will do all those things, right? It's just like some of these videos that the, um, the Mademoiselle here on YouTube, um, she reacts to, and it's like Instagram lives where parents are shaming their kids for like twerking or showing themselves on the internet or whatever, or speaking like with foul language and stuff like that on the internet, on their Instagram lives. And then the parents get to see it. It's usually their mom. They see it and they're like, oh, is that what you do now? I'm going to embarrass you in front of all those people that are on Instagram live. I'm going to go on Instagram live and bash you and curse you out and curse you and everything. That is what they do. And it's like, it defeats the purpose. It's like, don't say bad words. Why are you out here saying bad words? And then as you're saying that to your kid, you're dropping curse words every two seconds. Like, how does how does that help? How is that helpful? I don't know. It's it, imperating. It cannot be that do as I say, don't do as I do. Because kids are going to learn by watching what you do. So, that's wrong. They try to pass the because, you know, now. So, Why did Lamar say that? He was just kind of explaining, like, he tried to pass it to Tennessee, that is the, the son, the blonde. And, yeah, because he's 18 now. Why did he have to say that? As if it's, like, a very normal thing to do. It's like, yeah, he's 18 now, so he's going to be experiencing this more. Or, like, he should have just left that whole sentence out. Why? the? Because he's 18 now. Just say what happened. State state the facts. State, state the, the scene. State what happened. Just say what happened. Don't add your own. Oh, some people just like the drama. So he gonna pass something to my mother's child. Oh, so here you go cursing again. After your daughter said, stop, stop using the F word. You're out here cursing again. So he don't have no respect for me, which means he don't have no respect for you. And you don't have no respect for your daughter who's sitting right there who politely, gently, and kindly asked you to stop using the F word and you choose to resort to only that. I have so much I want to say, but I'm going to leave it at that. This is going to be something that continues in California, that my kids are going to be offered. And it makes me want to move back to Utah. Most likely, but you have to trust, like some of these parents, you need to trust that you trained your kids well enough not to actually go for these things. There can be all the temptation in the world out there, but if you've instilled some certain values in them, they will always see your big head in their face, trying to be like, don't do it, keep yourself pure, and you're gonna be like, every time somebody's gonna try and tempt you, you're either gonna know that it's wrong, so you don't wanna do it, and it's repulsive to you, and you just don't wanna get into it, or you're gonna be like, mm, that might really disappoint mom, and or you're gonna be like, hmm, that really goes against my beliefs and my faith. So absolutely no, absolutely never. But if you don't have that trust, you're as a parent, you're always going to be worried. And that is no way to live. He did do that, but at the end of the day, he just being a big uncle. What? I don't know. Okay, yeah, it's like some of those people, at the end of the day, he's just trying to be a big uncle. It's like some of those people were like, yeah, you want this money? It's lying right here. Are you going to take it? 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 And then you take it as a kid and they're like, uh-huh. Then they go and tell your mom and your dad, like, yeah, this child of yours, hmm, you have to train her. Yeah, there was some money some way. She just took it like that. She just took the money like that. Meanwhile, you were enticing the kid and kids, not all kids know better. You know, so yeah, there, there are some kind of family members or older people who will try these type of things just to sort sort of quote unquote, be the good uncle, be the good auntie, see what you do, whether you do something, whether you won't do something. And if you do the thing that you're not supposed to be doing, they'll run back to your parents and tell them all about it and you'll get in trouble. So yeah, that's not a good thing. He cannot be that kind of uncle. And also I feel like Lamar should have said something in the presence of his brother, like absolutely not, do not do that. Those, those kind of uncle, uncles and others will get you into trouble and next thing you know, they'll go to your parents and be like, they did this, they did that, your kids are so rotten off. Not like my kids, oh my kids are amazing, this, that, that. So you have to be very careful with them, aunties and uncles. Oh, you smelled it, did you feel high? Why is this woman asking if the kid felt high just from smelling the thing? I guess, yeah, Utah really, I don't, I don't think much goes on in Utah for sure. Mm -mm. And then the, the daughter asked, he explicitly asked Tennyson if he wanted to hit it, question mark. And somehow 
this makes the mom even more angry swelling just just ruining ruining the good food for no apparent reason that is that is sad good morning did you sleep in here i talked i'm trying to talk me too so now he slept on the sofa. This is just this is just ridiculous. Like he didn't smoke the thing. Like why all this extra stuff? Nobody knows. Two. She got mad at me because Tennyson talked to me about it first. Why are you not on call? You have my kids. To <laughs> so she got mad at the daughter as well because oh this is this is just a mess. The mom got mad at the daughter as well because Tennyson told her first what had happened about the blunt situation before telling her. Brown drugs. Are you going to have our kids around Tennyson there? knows what to do. I know what to do. You need to trust you have in the kind of mom that they have. Lamar, this is why I need Priscilla to get baptized. For me to have a clear state of mind and to know that she has the gift of the Holy Spirit. Priscilla. The gift of the Holy Spirit does not come just by baptizing. The gift of the Holy Spirit comes by actually accepting the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Having a personal relationship with God, really understanding why you're doing the things that you're doing and really understanding that uh, Jesus Christ is the Messiah and he rose and uh, he died and rose on the third day for our sins and transgressions. And yeah that that kind of personal relationship that's how the holy ghost the holy spirit comes upon you and you can be young ish young enough to understand these concepts and really have that deep connection with god or you can be older and have that connection with god it does not come from dunking your kid into a pool or something like that and then all of a sudden voila i got it nope but maybe that's i don't know Maybe that's what she believes, but no. Priscilla can get baptized by Tennyson because he holds a priesthood. Well, that's interesting. In a swimming pool. And so she says she's going to make the swimming pool safe because they're going to pray for it and everything. And then the water will be clean and pure and good for her to get baptized. I don't know. I don't know, she just seems like, Andrea seems like a little bit of a, a hot head and Lamar's always so cool and she, he's been sleeping on the couch so many times and she, they've been getting into it all the time and yeah, it is wild. It is wild with these two uh, and there's kids involved, like the whole thing is crazy. I don't know. In any case, let me know what you think about everything, you know? It's kind of difficult coming from the love after lockup and going into life after lockup because I haven't been talking about these guys, although I have been following their storyline, but I haven't been watching it, and especially this Life After Lockup, I haven't watched it from the beginning, so I don't know every everything, but I've been watching it from now, and this is episode what? I think season three, because it just continued this season, but it's episode 11, so that's where we're at, but the other couples will come back as well, so stay tuned. It is daily videos up in here. I will see you in the next one, which will be very soon. Comment because I really want to know what you think. Like because you obviously like this video. And while you're at it, hit the notification bell. God bless. Oh, also, if you're not already part of the family, make sure you hit the bump, so, and don't forget to subscribe button as well.